so what we did in previous session was basically understanding that there has to be two accounts in every transaction that you are entering into each such account will be categorized into a particular type of account and based on the type of account we have to decide that uh, what kind of rule will be applicable to that and applying that rule we have to decide that which account need to be debited and which account need to be credited means to which account we have to give the effect on to the debit side and to which account we have to give the effect on to the credit side this is what we are going to decide applying the different rules of accounting now let me come ahead and try to explain you that how i am going to decide this debit and credit based on the different examples related to the accounts so let's come on to the examples of giving the effects of different transactions just to observe it let me just share the screen You just look at these kind of transactions that I'm going to talk about now. Suppose you have been given a transaction as goods, or instead of that, cash paid to Ramesh. cash paid to ramesh i am not yet starting the journal entry i am still on to the point of which account to be debited and which account to be credited our regular lectures we have started talking about the journal entries in fact today i'll be starting to talk about the subsidiary books also but that's a different concept and here what we are talking about is a different concept this is basic to that basic whatever we have talked about in foundation the as far as the basics are concerned that basics are quite different the uh, a bit of more advanced as compared to what we are talking about at this point in time so you need to focus upon this basic first and then you will automatically be learning you will automatically be able to carry on with the basics of the foundation also i hope i'm quite clear on that point now if the transaction is given to me is cash paid to ramesh how much and what amount that is a different matter altogether for us cash paid to ramesh is a transaction now in this case on one side the account that is getting affected is the cash account and at the same time on another side the account getting affected is the ramesh account because it is a cash transaction in the cash transaction on one side you will always have the cash account with cash or bank account and on the other side you will be having person purpose or activity correct or not cash is basically a real account because we own cash correct or not whereas ramesh is a 
personal account because it is the name of an individual. Is right. And accordingly, we will apply the rules of the respective types of accounts now. Now, cash is paid. That means cash is going out. Whereas Ramesh being personal account, he is the receiver of benefit from us or not. So he is the receiver. Now applying the rule, if the cash is going out, cash will be credited. Whereas if Ramesh is the receiver of benefit, Ramesh will be debited. Did you understand that? How did I decide? Because Ramesh is debited, so cash is credited. Because cash is credited, so Ramesh is debited. I didn't say something like that. To both the accounts, I have applied the separate rules of accounting based on their respective type. Isn't it? Observe it with another example. Check. received from Raja for goods sold. Check received from Raja for goods sold. Now, when these goods are sold, is nothing has been provided to us, we'll assume that the goods are sold immediately. And against that, we have received the check. Check, agar hai, to check ki jaga kya aega? Bank. Correct? Now, in this case, Raja is also given, goods sold is also given. It being a cash transaction, when the, when the purpose is given, person is not important. So for us, the more important account will be sales account and not the Raja's account. If you remember, I had told you whenever we are dealing into the goods, on the purchase of goods, purchase account gets affected. On the sale of goods, the sales account gets affected. Am I right? So considering those facts, bank is a personal account. Why personal account? Because bank is an, an artificial person or not. Whereas sales is a nominal account because sales is a revenue for our business or not? Yes or no? Bank is now when the check is received, money will ultimately be received from the by the bank or not? So bank is a receiver. Whereas sales is my income. Correct. So bank will be debited because it is the receiver of benefit and sales will be credited because it is my income. Am I right? Yes or no? Another example. Rent Paid to Radhesham. Rent paid to Radhesham. Rent paid. Paid means what? Cash. Because check has not been given, so we have to assume that it is paid by cash. Rent paid hai, is liye cash assume kiya. All right. So one account getting affected will be cash and second account getting affected will be rent but not Radhesham. Radhesham is not going to get affected because it is a cash transaction. Correct? Now 
what will be the account types rent paid rent being a recurring item therefore it will become the expense for our business or not or i would simply say rent is a nominal account and cash is a real account correct rent being a nominal account it is our expense for the business all the expenses and losses are debited or not whereas cash is a real account cash is going out and as the cash is going out therefore cash will be credited did you people understand this all the three examples if anyone has any kind of question can raise it how do we identify what has to be debited what has to be credited if anyone has any question okay you so you write down these examples then give the heading identification of debit and credit write the heading as identification of debit and credit and below that write down these examples how is good sold and income rasana when you have sold the goods it is a revenue generated for the business or not as it is the revenue generated for the business therefore sales is considered as the income of the business goods are going out no doubt about it you can apply that rule as well because technically speaking in some cases the goods uh, goods sold or goods purchased are treated as real account as well but that concept i am going to explain you at a later point in time at this point in time you just focus on the basics that sales is our income and therefore it will be a nominal account am i good with you rapsana is done right down in the following transactions and the further questions 
in the following transactions identify i hope you people are writing it can you raise hands for me yes read on them in the following transactions identify the accounts getting affected comma their respective types their respective types and applying the rules and applying the rules the account to be debited or the account to be credited applying the rules the account to be debited and the account to be credited under that write down number 1 purchase of goods from j on credit purchase of goods from j on credit next one write down number 2 sales of goods sales of goods to viru for cash sales of goods to viru for cash next cash purchases cash purchases next number 4 sales against check sales against check next salaries paid salaries paid to mr kamgar salaries paid to mr kamgar by check by check next traveling charges paid traveling charges paid to the travel agency india to the travel agency india next i hope you people are writing it all jo main dictate kar raha hu wo sab kuch likh rahe ho aap log hai na ha dekho 
machinery purchased machinery purchased on credit on credit from machine india limited machinery purchased on credit from machine india limited next transportation charges paid transportation charges paid next cash deposited in bank cash deposited in bank next check issued check issued to raghubir for goods sold earlier sorry for goods purchased earlier next interest paid to bank next check received from deepak a customer check received from deepak a customer that's it you have to do only these many transactions renu can you send me this the picture of that particular thing on my whatsapp all the questions you have to write it in this same format the format that we have just done you have to write the answer in the same format and you have to write it right away right now i give you 10 minutes for that you start solving it now <laughs> 